Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am finally going to be reviewing the new Spring Magic Collection by Unearthly Cosmetics. I have not yet put this on my face, but I did get a chance to look at this when I was in New Orleans for Creators and Friends. We got to swatch it, we got to play with it, but now I have it in my grubby little hands and I'm so excited. I have already done swatches with this, but I have not yet put it on my face, like I said, so I'm really excited to play with this. First, let's go over the pieces. The first thing we have is the eyeshadow palette. And as always, Unearthly is really good about making sure that when they ship their palettes, they are incredibly secure, which I always appreciate. So we do have this outer cardboard packaging, which is very lined with like some uh, foam basically to just keep it in place. You can tell it's not going anywhere. Then we have the actual eyeshadow palette, which is also encased in foam. <laughs> And this also comes in a separate cardboard packaging as well. So again, your palette is going to be secure when it gets to you and all of the packaging is the same. And then when you open the palette, you get this incredibly lovely spring color story. Here's the thing. I usually do not gravitate towards spring palettes. They don't do much for me, if I'm being honest, because I've mentioned this on my channel before, I do not like wearing pinks. And I feel like pink, while there is definitely a pink vibe here, pink seems to be what people associate with spring. Understandably, right? A lot of flowers are pink. Uh, you know, trees, when they're first blossoming, have those pink flowers, a lot of them. But I love how this palette took a different spin. So yes, again, you do have these pinks, but you have a lot of these spring greens. You you have the sky blue, you have purple, you have golds, you have these shifty tones. This is beautiful to me. And I have to admit, like when I first heard about this palette, I was like, it's probably not going to be one that I want. And when I saw it in person in New Orleans, I was like, I need that in my life so badly it hurts. So I'm really, really excited to play with this. I already have an idea of what I want to do with this today. This is just so beautiful. And the swatches, when I swatched it out, it performed so lovely, but I do have to say it was kind of funny because I had to go all the way up my arm to do these swatches because this is an 18 pan palette. So we do have a good mix of mattes and shimmers. There's a duochrome here at the bottom and a lot of just beautifully, beautifully metallic shades. As always, I always say this, with Unearthly Cosmetics, I think where they really stand out are their shimmers. They are so incredibly smooth and they go on perfectly. There's not a whole lot of fallout. They're just easy to work with. Now, I didn't mention this, but all of this stuff is available for pre-order right now, and the pre-orders have actually already started shipping out, so it's been available on pre-order for a while. The palette retails for $78. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that is a higher price point, obviously, but I do think that the quality of Unearthly Cosmetics is worth the price. There are some cases where I will see a palette for an extremely large price, and I'm like, you know what? There's nothing standout about that palette that makes it worth that price. This one, the quality is there. But again, as I always say, arm swatches do not equal how it's gonna look on my face. So while the arm swatches were beautiful, it could look like absolute hammered shit on my eyes. Fingers crossed, I just went fingers crossed. Wouldn't this be fingers crossed? It's a little difficult to do with two large rings. Oh my God, can I really not cross my finger? Fingers crossed, <laughs> it looks good on the eyes. Wow, Linda. Then we have the Spring Magic Incandescent Blush Palette. So we do have, again, some outer, outer cardboard packaging and the palette that is inside came wrapped in bubble wrap. So you can hear it kind of rattle around in there, but that's only because I threw away the bubble wrap. I'm going to be getting rid of this out, outer cardboard packaging, but here is the blush palette. This is retailing for $32. Now, let me say at first glance, I said, no, this palette is gonna be too pigmented for me. It's gonna be too much because look at this. Those are some bright blush shades, right? Those are bright blush shades. But when I did the swatches, all of these are wearable for me. And I think that they do a good job of having a variety here that I think and hope would work on different skin tones. This is very beautiful. Now, all of these blushes have a shimmer or a light to them. There is no glitter though, I will say. Uh, it's almost like when you have a luminous blush, that's what these are. So they could work also as highlighter blush combos. They are very, very pretty. And again, the swatches make them look like very approachable. I'm just gonna have a pile of packaging down here by the end. 
Then we have some products that I was really, really excited over. These are the incandescent liquid highlighters, okay? And two came in the collection. The first one we have is Awaken. Is it Awaken or Awake? It is Awaken. And it is a beautiful, like, shifty pink. And then the other one is I'm Sprung. And it is a white with a green tinge to them. I'll show you swatches on screen here. These look lovely. I'm a little nervous about them because they do have intense color to them. Like I think that Awaken, the pink one, could possibly just be used as a very luminous blush, but I'm sprung. I'm going to use today as a highlighter. I'm very curious to see how that looks, especially I want to let you know how it looks on somebody who has skin. <laughs> I have skin texture. I am 43 years old. All of these things make it so that I don't have perfectly baby smooth plump skin. So I am curious to see how those look. Those retail for $15, which I think is very reasonable because the swatches like a little bit goes a long way. And the last thing we have retails for $14. This is going to be an instant favorite of mine. This is the Ghoul Glaze Lip Gloss. It is just stunning. It looks like nothing. It looks white here, but it has tinges of gold and green and pink. It really flashes pink. And this retails for $14. This is so beautiful. I can't wait to use this. I am gonna keep this separate right now because this is the gloss, this is the highlighter. So they look very, very similar. And while like there's nothing wrong with putting highlighter on your lips or lip gloss on your face, it's just they do have a different uh, consistency, each of them. So I want to make sure to keep those separate just for now. And I am excited to play with this. So I already do have my eyes primed. I have on no blush. I do have a little bit of bronzer on and my foundation, concealer, and eyebrows. And I think that's it. And like a lip balm for now just to keep things moisturized while I'm getting ready. But Let's start. I know what I want to do with my eyes. I feel like that's so rare with me. So again, one of the things that excited me the most about this palette is how it's not all pink because again, pinks are beautiful and especially this pink in warmth, which has like, I'm sorry, not warmth. It's sunshine that has like that really pretty shift to it. I don't know if you'll be able to even see the shift. It definitely goes a little bit blue at times. But what I want to do is, <laughs> it's going to shock you, I want to focus on greens on the top and then like spring blues on the bottom. So I'm definitely going to be going into Herbalist as probably my crease color and I might buff that out with some Full Moon, which is a great white shade, which I always do appreciate in palettes to be honest. And then so that hopefully will make it into more of like a minty green. And then the lid is going to be Dragonfly on the inner corner, which is sort of shifty. You can maybe see, let's see, can we get that shift to show? Uh, it's a little difficult, but it does shift like green to bluish gold and then sprout for the rest of the lid. So, yay! All right, I'm actually starting with Herbalist, which is the darkest color in the palette. Well, one of the darkest colors in the palette. I'm tapping off the excess because I'm going to go in just like little by little. I'm going to start just dotting this because I don't know how this is going to react on the eye. It's such a pretty color. Oh, this is like a beautiful forest green. And I'm going to take that in the crease. Now, while I do want that to be super deep here on the outer corner, I want the crease to like eventually fade out. And again, I'm going to be using that white. So what I'm actually going to be doing today, by the way, is I'm just going to do one eye on camera and the other eye off camera because I want to see how it looks as I'm doing it. That makes sense. <laughs> this is a very pretty color and I'm actually really enjoying that shape. Usually this is like my jerk eye. It's not being a jerk today. Okay, so I'm taking a clean blending brush and going into full moon, which again is white. So I'm tapping off a lot of the excess. This I just wanna use kind of right here on the edges. I'm pulling this all the way up to the brow bone, by the way, but I'm hoping this will blend it out and add just a little bit of a gradient. And each time I go back into the shadow, I'm wiping it off first on my Sigma switch so there's not like a whole lot of green. Like I want that white to come through. There we go. Now you can sort of see the gradient coming through. You know what I'm going to do? I wasn't going to. I'm going to take a touch. Like I'm holding my brush all the way down here, a breezy, which is the lightest blue. And I'm going to put this under my eyes eventually. But I wonder if I put this right here. Oh, see, actually, that looks really pretty. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, that adds like a cool gradient too with that white. Yeah, okay, I really like that. I'm gonna keep going back in 
touching up the green here and there because again on this outer corner I do want it to be nice and deep. Now I will say in videos like this I usually try to be like okay guys there's 18 colors in the palette and I use 10. It's not going to be that today. This is how I want to play with this palette. So obviously like there's tons of different looks you can create but this is how I foresee myself playing with it. Happy with the way this looks for now. I'm going to be taking a little bit of NYX glitter glue on my brush and applying that to the whole lid for the most part. I'm staying away from the very outer corner but but I'm putting this pretty much everywhere else. And again, I'm going to start by dipping into Dragonfly, which is so pretty. It's like almost minty. And that is going to go right here on the inner corner. Oh my God. They're shimmers. I swear, like, there are very few brands that I feel like can do what they do with shimmers. Like, they're so beautiful. <laughs> It's like the perfect mint tone. Oh, I almost want to put this all over the lid. No, I'm going to stick with my plan. Going to stick with my plan. So I'm flipping the brush and going into Sprout, which is like a green gold, which is kind of one of my favorite types of colors ever. And that is going on the rest of the lid. Wow, this is like really pulling gold in this light. That's interesting. I thought that would pull a lot more green. Okay, so I'm going back in with Dragonfly. I'm just going to overlap those colors a bit. This is pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going back into Herbalist, which is the dark green. And I'm touching up again. I just want this to be nice and deep. I am, I, I really enjoy this so far. Oh, that's super pretty. Okay, well, you know what? Let's finish this off. I'm going to go under the eye. So what I want to do is I want to take Breezy. This is just that blue on a fluffy brush. And first, I'm just going to buff that in kind of all over. And then right up there along the lash line, I'm taking Healer, which is just a perfect kind of teal blue. And that, again, is going to be pressed right into this lash line. I actually enjoy doing sometimes like this where I'm doing one eye at a time because I feel like you can see the look really like come together and then be like, okay, and then you're excited to do the other one. So... Um, next, I'm actually going to take a little bit more of this glitter glue and this like flattish brush. So this is from Doll 10 Beauty. They definitely don't make this anymore. This is a very old brush. This came out actually like with the Makeup Molly collection many, many years ago. But I'm putting that on the inner corner and then I'm going into clouds, which is just that perfect like iridescent white that has hints of blue, hints of pink in it. And that is going to be my, oh, that's pretty. Oh, woo, that's bright. <laughs> I can never decide whether or not I like an inner corner highlight on me. I know I've talked about this before. I love it so much on other people. But for some reason on me, I don't always love it. But I love this color, so I want to run with it. I feel like it looks like really uneven on me. Hmm. Maybe if I take a dry brush and do this like a little bit dry, just tap off the excess. Rather than having it like pressed, maybe if it's like blended a little bit more. Yeah, I still don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> okay, there we go. That actually helped. So I took my concealer brush and kind of pressed it there to figure that out. But it is looking so pretty so far. But I want to try something else. For the waterline, I want to try Afterlife Gel Liner. So this is the gel liner that just came out with the Melt Cosmetics, the uh, Smoke Sessions 2. But this is the one, this is very old from like the Beetlejuice collection, but I feel like it could make it really pop or it could ruin everything. Let's see. I kind of love it. It's a little crazy, but I think it's gonna be one of those things that comes together. So I'm gonna hop off camera real quick and I'm going to do my liner and a lash, mascara, all that. And I'll be right back. And I just am gonna keep it all on one eye for now because I wanna see how it looks. All right, here is the first eye done. I am really, really liking it. I am just super happy with it. Like, I feel like that yellow on the waterline like really adds a pop of something. And I'm actually liking the inner corner better than I thought I was going to. Mm, I think it's so pretty. I think it's so, oh, I keep covering the wrong eye. 
Yeah, I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm going to hop off camera. Oh, wait, by the way, for mascara, I used the new from Melt, the So High Mascara. I have to admit, I don't love the name of that, and I keep going so high. Um, I used my uh, KVD Beauty uh, Tattoo Liner. I used the Milk um, Liner in the Tight Line. And these are my Angela Bright Flutter Lashes. They are half lashes, but I'm going to hop off camera, do the other eye, and I'll be right back. We're going to do the blush and the highlighter and the gloss. All right, the eyes are done. Again, this is like, oddly, even though I love greens and things like that, this is oddly a little bit out of my comfort zone, but the quality is so good. Oh my God, you know what? It is out of my comfort zone, but it's not. That yellow pop is what's out of my comfort zone, and I don't care, I love it. Okay, the blush palette. So I can't decide what I want to do because I keep leaning towards this bright orange, but also I feel like this like baby pink would also be kind of nice with this look. You know what, let's try the baby pink. I'm gonna be using my BK Beauty 112. I'm using a bit of a fluffier bl brush so that this doesn't go like too crazy. Ooh, is this gonna be a bad choice? Well, let's see, it's just makeup. So what's interesting, I don't know if you can tell, but on my skin, the, um, the shimmer or the shine is not showing up as much. Now, when I did swatches, you could really see that shine, but I don't see it as much here. It just looks like a very pretty pink blush. Like I keep adding more and more because I actually really do like it. And it's nice that it's buildable. That's pretty. Oh, I like that. You guys, again, when I saw these colors, I was like, these are gonna be too intense for me. But like, look how pretty and soft that is. That doesn't look intense at all to me. Like, yes, it's definitely pink, but it's not like intense. I don't know. Oh, now I know that this highlighter, which is Awaken, would probably look so pretty with this, but I feel the need to do the greenish white. Do I do this over the pink though? Yes, I do. I'm going to use this with my fingers though, because I want to, well, I want to just apply this with my fingers. Let's see. So you can probably see there the greenish tinge for sure. I'm going to start quite small and just dot this out so I can see how it looks. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I think it's the green over the pink, but it's almost giving like a little bit of bruise, but on camera, like it looks kind of banging. So I'm gonna do the other cheek. And again, I'm going in with like a very little bit at a time and sort of like blending that out and then going in with more as I want it or need it. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> what do you think though? I mean, it actually does look very pretty, right? That's actually quite pretty. Okay, so let me see. I wanna do this glue gloss, but I wanna put a lip liner, at least like a lip liner. I feel like a rosy pink would look really pretty. So I don't even own the exact color I'm looking for, but this is Osis by ColourPop. This is a bit more orangey than I intended, but it'll work. And now I'm going in with this gloss. I don't wanna ruin the applicator, so I'm going to apply this with my finger. Oh my God, this is so pretty. That gloss is stunning and it feels good. It feels very moisturizing. It's not sticky at all. Oh, I like that. Okay, let me add some earrings and then we are gonna talk about this collection. So I love this look. I love this look. There were so many spots where I was unsure, where I was like, oh, is this inner corner going to look okay? Is this going to look okay? And I think it came together. I think it really came together. So my standouts, my standouts are obviously this palette. This palette is so beautiful. The quality is so good. And to be honest, let me show you my favorite. Let me make sure my finger's clean. My favorite pink is Sunshine. Look at that. Like, doesn't that look fake? Like, Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's the most beautiful gold to pink shift you've ever seen. So like the pinks in here are gorgeous. The greens, the blues, they're all so beautiful. I am going to get a lot more use out of this palette than I originally thought. I am so excited to have this. And my other standout, this gloss, I'm very tempted to buy another one right now. I'm very tempted to buy another one right now because I'm obsessed with it. The color is so like peachy pink. It's got those like shifts to it. Oh my God. It's so beautiful and it feels really good. So, oh my gosh. Now I don't know how I feel yet about the highlighter. I don't dislike it by any means. 
Um, and I don't feel like it emphasize, I mean, it does emphasize texture a little bit and it does dry down, which is nice. So I don't know how, exactly how I feel about it yet. I don't dislike it by any means. It's really cool, but I feel like I am gonna get more use out of these on my eyes than on my cheeks. Like I will use these on my eyeballs. Don't test me. So that is it. Let me know what you think down below. I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video. I probably put something on the screen, but you can get a discount on this collection with my code if you decide to use that code. Thank you so, so much. That really, really helps out my channel and also it warms my heart. Literally every time I get one of those notifications that one of you guys have used my code, it melts me into a puddle of Linda. If you like this video, I would love if you'd give it a thumbs up or comment down below or share it or subscribe if you haven't already. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. As always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.